All right, we are reading a new chapter of Shino Hayo. Uh, we're into the kind of final rounds of the individual tournament. Shino is up against one of the most broken characters uh, we've ever seen in, in the Saki universe. Someone who apparently went up against two pro players in one, even though she was just in elementary school. Like, what the fuck? I, I don't really understand what this character is supposed to be. Um, usually the really top tier characters in Saki are defined by uh, some sort of like certain relation to, to another player, you know, like somebody like Teru um, is Saki's older sister. And then, you know, they're, they're really kind of hyped up based on their powers, like Teru's mere power that she can immediately understand the powers of her opponents and then the, the, the hurricane risk, wrist she just wins with stronger and stronger hands. Um, or or other broken characters have their own powers, like Saki's uh, Rishon Kaiho, of course. Um, Toki's ability to see into the future. I don't know. There's tons and tons of them. But this girl, her powers just, like, wins. And she just kind of, like, showed up. I'm just the best. My power is win. <laughs> Um, I, I don't get it. I don't, I don't know what this is supposed to mean. I don't know how Shino is supposed to beat her. Um, it's pouring rain outside. Does that have something to do with her power? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. There's like no flavor to it. There's no aesthetics or anything. And it might kind of sound like I'm complaining here, but I, I just think it's more just mysterious, you know? It's more confusing than disappointing. It makes me think that there is going to be some twist, some payoff. Because otherwise, there's no way that Shino is going to win either. So there has to be more to it. Okay, anyways. It's raining. Raining, raining, raining. I'm talking about how it's raining. This sort of slice of life fun is so key to my love of Saki. And to refresh. Uh, oh, I guess it is in the finals yet, sorry. I think Shino is playing against this girl in an earlier round, which is very unfortunate seating, given that this girl is definitely the favorite to win. Anyways, Hayari won, good for her. Now you get to watch Shino's match on TV. We get a really nice title page, of course. Agarashi's uh, beautiful use of backgrounds. I love it. Oh, but, but, but uh, Manga Dex is pretty slow right now. I was planning on reading a bunch of manga today, but maybe it's not worth it right now. Return to the match. Oh, the back button isn't working. Strange. It's not just slow, it's like giving me weird behavior to you. I hope the, the thing down here at least is updating when it should. I think it is. So you can at least follow along with what I'm looking at. Even though sometimes what I'm looking at is not what I expect that I'm looking at. Uh, she decides to play more conservative because she's really, really close to winning. If she deals in directly to any sort of medium-sized hand, she's bust. Uh, building tiles in a straight way. Yeah, that's really all you can do. Mahjong is kind of an interesting game in that once you're low to the bottom, like once you're almost about to bust, you, you kind of have two paths you can go in. You can kind of try to play Hailmakers. Hail, I'm, I mixed up Haymaker and Hail Mary. And, you know, try to make a big swing and get back by hitting someone really directly with some huge hand. Uh, but... It's, it's more like if you have faith in your playing, then you should think that if you just kind of play your normal way and make normal hands, eventually you can claw your way back. And it, it has to do with like regression to the mean. That if you think, well, my opponent was extraordinarily lucky up until this point, um, so I can't assume logistically that logically, not logistically, but logically, that their luck will continue like this. 
eventually, if I am the superior player, it's going to win out. And there's, there's no reason to not think that that's going to start now. So don't panic. Just keep making hands. But it's tempting, though, to be like, oh god, I need to make a comeback. All right, she wins with another small hand. Her power again, being winning. Shino didn't d deal in, though, which is good. I know it's going to be a cheap hand. Maybe it's just better to, to just attack. Fall into a trap. Ooh, is that her scheme? She just keeps winning with these small hands. Such that people start feeling overconfident. Deal dangerous tiles. Because they're like, I don't even care if I deal in. And then she's like, no, surprise, this one's huge. Okay. When P comes out, it's counted Yagaman, even without Richie. Wait, what's, uh, what's Dora? Oh, yeah, okay, that hand is crazy. 8-pin Dora, and you have triple out of it. Poof! Yeah, this is a huge, huge hand. Let's probably play the pay. Uh, of course you'll have to play the pay. What else would you possibly discard here? This one will fall into a trap. Usual balance between attack and defense. If I know my opponent's hand is worth only 2,100 points, I'll definitely go for it. Okay, so that's like her line. If that's what she's reading, under 2,100 points, she feels like that's a worthy bet to make on her hand. Right? I assume that also scales with how strong her hand is to some extent. But I suppose for a Yakuman, that's still where you're drawing the line. I don't know. I would even go further than that for the shot at a Yakuman. A two-sided weight Yakuman. And a four-sided weight minimum Baimon. I don't know, man. I, I would cut the pay like in a heartbeat. I would be so thrilled to have this hand. But I think she's going to get tricked. This girl. Whatever you do, the only way to stop her dealer repeats is to win a hand. The more you realize that Chihiro's winning hands are cheap, the more likely you are to be hunted when you recklessly charge forward. Hmm. Only so it wouldn't make me fold. Long accumulation of things to, that make me what, who I am now. In times like this, I can't adapt myself to the requirements of the moment, I guess. It's an interesting idea. I love this idea. I am so caught up in the long accumulation of things that make me who I am now. Of course, it's a translation, so I don't really know where to attribute the poeticness of that line. But that line is deeply poetically resonant for me. I think that's a very beautiful idea. But it's true that, that thinking like that, thinking that you are nothing more than just the sum of your experiences, can make you inflexible. Can make you think that the only way forward is the way that, that, is, that has that sort of rightness, that it, it correlates and is consistent with your previous behavior. But that's not actually how you have to live. You can kind of just do whatever at any time. <laughs> um, simplify the thoughts of her opponents. Hmm. What? All right. She plays the pay. I think she's going to get hit hard here, maybe. Ooh, she doesn't win off the pay. Okay. So does her power actually lie not so much in these like traps or these sudden attacks, but more an outright denial of the ability for her opponents to win a hand. She draws four man here. Oh, and then she loses. Oh, she could have won off the pay too? It's another very cheap hand. Why didn't she win off the pay? Is it because the hand would have become too good if she won off the pay? And her ability only allows her repeated dealer wins if they're too if they're really really small. She went off the pay in the previous turn. Oh, 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 oh! What? The pay is the second time I've helped you, Moriwaka-san. What? Are you kidding me? This smug brat. Jesus. Oh. oh, what the heck? Hiding your awkward move, aren't you? Losing you didn't win with the pay wasn't to help me. 
If you won with the pay, rounding of the food would have given you too many points. Yes, that's it, isn't it? She needs to keep her hands under a certain amount. That's why they're always so small. I tried to hide that by saying something vague about helping me. <laughs> she, does, she literally does the, the wink and head bop thing. I don't know, I think it was, <laughs> that's a classic. But holy crap, what what is up with this girl? What is up with this power? You can keep winning as long as they're small hands. So, is the trick actually to just aggressively try to deal in in a way that you know she can't win on? So it's like you discard something knowing that if this does deal into her hand, then it can't be a cheap hand. So you just spam that option such that she either has to win big and then the curse is like broken and then the next hand she can't win at all. But you're sacrificing a lot by doing that because you just lost a ton of points. Or alternatively, she just never accepts those runs and then eventually you win too? And probably sooner than eventually because you're playing as recklessly as possible in order to facilitate this. Well, not quite as reckless as possible. In some ways, especially with, like, if you're going to use a strategy by, like, constantly dealing Dora or something, such that she always has to accept at least one Dora in her hand, and you know she's already, like, pawned her seat wind or something, so that's, like, two Yaku, maybe that's too much, I don't know. Um, then you're also kind of crippling your own hand if you're, if you're giving away Dora and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little correction. Maybe they'll let Zuzu win the hand. And to test how she has to be place. Tough as opponent for me is Yuzu. Then why use it to raise her score any higher if I could avoid it? Okay. But why does this stuff even matter though? Now I think all three of you are tough. I'm happy I could play with you. So I'm gonna crush you for real now. What is up with this girl? What does she do? How does this work? Explain to me what her powers are. Okay, so sometimes I click. And I think it advances the URL down here, but it doesn't actually load the page. So that's unfortunate, because then it's like a desync, <laughs> and and people don't know what I'm looking at anymore. I need to come up with a better solution for this. Let me know if you have any ideas. I thought about stuff like blurring the pages on on the recording, um, but I don't know if there's like an easy way to do that. Um, I also don't know if that's actually going to get me out of trouble, like if showing a blurred page is still not kosher. To be totally fair, I don't even know if showing this is kosher, kosher or if this is like promoting piracy too much or something. Anyways, so she just wins a bunch of hands here. We have a little montage with, with DJ Khaled playing in the background. All I do is win. Remember that song? She gets... Another sumo for 800 and a sumo for 1000. So yeah, Shiro is really low here. Stop you. I definitely will. Okay, that was a fairly short chapter. Usually Ishinohaya is a lot longer. Okay, interesting, interesting. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on at all. Uh, this, this girl's power is so unreasonable in a way that no other power in Saki has been unreasonable. All the other powers kind of had their faults built into them in a way that it's like, oh god, this is super strong. I don't know how I could possibly overcome this. But at the same time, it's like... Uh, well, I totally lost my train of thought. Well, yeah, the, 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 there's weaknesses. There's like a focus and there's a logic to it. There's some way that you can break it. But this, this is just the power to win. <laughs> Am I wrong? I don't know. We'll find out. Bye-bye.